Yeah, hi, this is a quick review of the uh, Duranord uh, 500 watt, 120 volt, um, 120 volt uh, heating element that I just bought. I've got a custom um, tank on my roof made out of 4 inch PVC and I um, wasn't really planning to install a heating element. It's winter here in Florida, which is barely winter. But yet the water's a little uh, cool for um, for showering, and so I thought, hey, I, I've got a couple of ports, uh, half-inch ports, in the tank, and um, they're kind of awkwardly placed. So I thought, you know, I'd install something that wouldn't touch the PVC pipe, four-inch PVC pipe, and uh, and I talked to the manufacturer, and they told me, hey, listen, the uh, the tip of this and the base of it don't really um, get super hot that the element is somewhere in here and I just I just confirmed that um, and and this is the product I just received it I installed it in my tank which is just a four inch PVC pipe in a U shape about seven gallons and um, here's a video of a test I did basically I ran this allowing it to touch sorry for the delay here just skip forward here looking at my shoe um i'm allowing it to touch the pvc pipe i ran this for a good uh, 40 minutes of course the water in the tank doesn't get ever get that hot because it's a lot more volume um but allowed it to touch the pvc running it on full power the full 500 watts from uh, a wall outlet here my van I run it off the uh, I run it off an inverter uh, and it's a really good quality product um, and did heat the water in about 20-30 minutes it did warm it to about 100 Fahrenheit um, it was comfortable it wasn't hot uh, maybe maybe a little lower I would say maybe like 95 Fahrenheit I didn't really test test it um, and I'm, what I'm opting to do is just upgrade to a longer, uh, more wattage, uh, the 750, since I'm finding that it, even though the manufacturer said don't don't let it touch PVC and whatever warranty or risk you're taking by doing it, I'm not asking you to do it, but I'm just showing you my test. You know, do it at your own risk. I allowed this to run for a good 45 minutes, touching. I even pulled it up and allowed parts of the element not to um, not to be underwater and then dipped it in of course when you do that uh, the level of uh, boiling is uh, significant all of a sudden so the element doesn't seem to explode if it goes for a couple of minutes in air as long as some of it is touching water although again the manufacturer is probably saying uh, this needs to be fully submerged uh, but I was more concerned with the tip and whether the tip would melt you know standard schedule 40 PVC pipe and my research is saying it doesn't um, which is kind of nice because it uh, gives us some design options um, this is uh, after the water cooled and you can see uh, where the water level was but I did lift it to about right here allowing a good portion of it to run for about 10 minutes without uh, you know in the air again it didn't catch on fire or melt or anything and here's you can see and this is after I pulled it where the heating element is actually heating so it almost looks like a good three quarters of an inch and about an inch from the base even though the head gets hot and it was all hot when I pulled it but I think the actual heating element is about right here this is from here to here is about five and a quarter inches they claim it's 5.99 inches entirely but from this point to this point about five and a quarter is what I measured. This is the base of the PVC pipe, the cap that it was resting on for a good 40 minutes. No indication of melting, burning, uh, chafing, nothing. So the PVC pipe held nicely under extreme conditions because my water is never gonna boil like that. Um, I'm just looking to warm the water. So unless I'm completely negligent and leave the uh, and leave the uh, and leave this thing running without water. Um, I'm gonna make sure I have fusing and all sorts of safeguards. Never leave this thing unattended. 
for sure in my case because of my my design um, this is unrelated but it's the port where I'm actually feeding through in that angle so it's touching the base of the uh, of, of, of the um, of the water of the uh, of my sh of my solar shower now the solar shower works great uh, by itself without without the heating um, but I just wanted to have this option and it's a really reasonable option and it looks like really a nice option for me to be able to plug this in and just drive off and I'm hoping with the 750 to be able to get it to comfortable within about 15 minutes and I think so because it's gonna have more surface area that's touching the water and it's just a good um, you know a good 30 percent uh, more heating uh, and wattage so I hope this helps somebody I haven't seen a lot of reviews on this product it, it's a high quality product and it's definitely got a great use case here stainless steel exterior looks like it'll hold up nicely and won't rust um, or burn up thanks again bye